Under the CAFE regulations, every vehicle gets a fuel economy rating in miles per gallon in, in a given model year. Um, and, and the manufacturer's corporate average fuel economy uh, rating is the sales weighted average of those fuel economy ratings. GM can make Corvettes with big V8s. It's just that each manufacturer has to sell other things as well and make sure that the overall mix of the vehicles that they produce is efficient enough to, uh, on average, meet their requirements. The standards uh, now depend on, on how uh, a manufacturer's production is distributed in terms of vehicle footprint. Uh, vehicle footprint is a measure of the vehicle's size, um, and it's basically the area of the rectangle you would get if you uh, drew a rectangle on the ground with the corners placed where the uh, tires contact the ground. So smaller cars, like, like VW's new Beetle, for example, um, correspond to higher fuel economy targets, and larger vehicles, like, say, the Mercedes 7 Series, correspond to lower targets. So the sales weighted average of the targets defines the requirement for the manufacturer's cafe. A manufacturer that sells a broad mix of vehicles um, doesn't have to try to achieve the same level of cafe performance as a manufacturer that only offers small cars. Um, second, we're trying to discourage manufacturers from responding to cafe standards by downsizing. And we care about that because if you hold everything else equal, a car tends to offer less occupant protection as it gets smaller. Average requirements will also depend on how the distribution of vehicle footprints changes in the future. In 2021, uh, for example, the average requirement for passenger cars could theoretically fall anywhere between uh, 38 and about 51 miles per gallon. We estimated that the average requirement in 2021 would most likely fall somewhere around 40 or 41 miles per gallon. Only the standards through 2021 are currently final. And we'll talk about NHTSA's governing statute. That directs NHTSA to cover at most five model years in any single rulemaking. These standards were first issued in 1975. With ISA, though, Congress directed DOT to replace the single number standards that have been in place for years with attribute-based standards, and they require that DOT make sure that the overall fleet gets to at least 35 miles per gallon by 2020. The manufacturers can now transfer credits that they earn um, between the passenger car and light truck fleets, and they can even trade credits with other manufacturers. Fuel economy, though, is it's a means, it's not an end. Um, for us, the real objective, the statutory objective, is energy conservation and we're currently saving about 60 billion gallons a year because of these fuel economy increases. And since there's basically a one-to-one -one relationship between burning fuel and releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, these fuel economy increases are also avoiding huge quantities of CO2 emissions. We also estimated that the value of the avoided fuel purchases would far outweigh and, and quickly outweigh the cost of the technology. For DOT, the next step is an entirely new rulemaking to set standards beyond 2021.